Falls. From the versatile slinging Sammy Fall to Joe Gibbs and his diverse dynasty to push the battle. These are the Redskins. In Jacksonville, there's pride and sacrifice. It's the leadership of Coughlin and the heart of NJD to stand united with our greatest heroes. These are the Jaguars. Jacksonville, Florida is the site for this matchup between the Redskins and the Jaguars. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. Just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza, and this adds another whole layer of excitement when you have this game under the lights. Yeah, it makes it more exciting for the fans. It builds up their enthusiasm because they're out there uh, tailgating all day, getting ready for the game, but also for the players. They lay around no matter what you do during the day. All you can think about is the game. How's it going to work out for us? So I think we're going to see a lot of excitement because of that. a gain of about two he won the Heisman Trophy in 2011 out of Baylor Robert Griffin the third Robert Griffin the third even if he couldn't run will be a success in the NFL because this guy can throw the football first down and ten here's the handoff running off tackle that's a gain of six and the player to watch, the wide receiver, will be Santana Moss. Uh, Santana Moss is just happens to be one of those guys, Jim. He can run reverses, but also he can take those short pass receptions to turn them into big plays. Trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. Taking a look at the linebackers. They're young, they're unheralded, but they do know how to make plays. And Morris is lined up as the single back. Third down and one. They beat it to him again. They make the play short of the first down, and that'll bring out the punting team. Three and out. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it costs his team yards lost. Fails to haul it in. That's a muff. The ball is on the ground. Out of the University of Michigan, quarterback Chad Henney. Looks like a penalty on the defense. Encroachment defense. Still first down. Great starting field position for the offense. That flag gives them a new set of downs. Looking for an open receiver on the right. They've got him down there. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. First down here after the completion. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. Offense lines up here. Maurice Jones-Drew. They tackle him for a loss. 
Ziesel shorts last year, averaged nearly 18 yards a catch and almost had a 1,000-yard season, 979 yards. Yeah, he did a good job. I'll tell you what changed it around when Chad Henney became the quarterback. They started throwing the football downfield, and shorts did a good job of getting open. This starting lineup is brought to you by Snickers. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. Everbank Field is our site today. Second quarter about to get underway. Should be an easy one here. Got a flag. He converts here on the field goal try. Offside defense. They'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. Jaguars ready for action. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Redskins line up. Been a tight first half. The score's three to zero. And Morris is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. First and ten. And Morris is handed the football. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. RG3 has it under center. Second and long. Inhales the pass. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Well, it's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Lined up in the pistol formation. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. The Redskins get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Moss is lined up now as a slot receiver. Griffin's going to take the snap from the shotgun, right where it had to be. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. First and ten. Looks to his left. Reaches out and snatches it. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. You can't play zone coverage against this quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. Moss is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Griffin's back in shotgun formation. And it's out of bounds incomplete. Second down after the incompletion. Robert Griffin the third from the shotgun. That catch good for a first down. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Moss is in the slot. Now first and ten. Trying to work that left side. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. This drives coach is crazy. They get a wide receiver open down the field on a post route, and what happens? The quarterback just overthrows it. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Makes the catch. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. Third and short. The pass fails to find the mark. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. Comes up short. It's 
such a demoralizing thing when a kicker misses a field goal attempt. If he would have made it, it would have tied the game. The momentum would have been on their side. Everybody would have been excited. But look at him now. Everybody's down. Three that defense here, trying to avoid the deep pass. They break through, tackle them behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Second down. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. That's a two-point safety, and that means you also have to send the ball back to the other team with a free kick at the 20. Going to try his luck here. Nice tackle. That does it for the first half. Redskins trail on this one, which is brought to you by Verizon. Redskins ready for action. And he begins his return. Taken down at about the 33, maybe the 34-yard line. Another series coming up for Henney and company. First down on the way. Jones Drew's going to secure the handoff. Gains nine. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. The defense comes out in the nickel. Second down and two. The quarterback throws to the right. The pass is incomplete. There was no one open. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Terrible route by the wide receiver. Oh, wow, what a shock. The football was incomplete. Chad Hitty will take it right from the center. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. Pure determination. What a run. Touchdown. How about the blocking up front? Let's the running back get the secondary, and he is so quick and elusive, he avoids the tackles and takes it all the way for the touchdown. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field, and the extra point is good. Defense. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. The Redskins ready to return the kick. They'll take it at the 20. The Redskins offense now coming out. RG3 has it under center. First down and 10. The throw to the left. And almost picked off. Anytime as a quarterback you see the receiver coming across the field on a drag route, don't lead him, just stick it on him. Quarterback throws it too far in front that time. The Redskins in the pistol. Second down and 10. They hand it off to the running back. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. The Redskins will approach this play from out of the pistol. And that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. Too much pressure on the quarterback on that play, Phil. Uh, that defense, boy, oh boy, are they aggressive, and they can get after the quarterback. We saw it on that play. This is going to be a tough assignment for this offensive line today. They pounce on him there. Well, if that's how you're going to return punch, you might as well just call for a fair catch every time because that was a terrible job. The Jaguars come onto the field for their next series. Offense lines up here. Let's go. First and ten. Working that left side. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close. 
So he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Second and 10, Maurice Jones-Drew. And tackled down at the 49-yard line. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Get ready. Third and three. Looking to the right side and throwing. Easy catch there. No one near him. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. Hey, man, 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 man. Let's that long gain sets them up here on this play. He's got some daylight. Steps out of bounds. Offside defense. The defender got caught in the neutral zone right there. That'll cost him five. Yeah, he's a little too anxious. You know, all these defenders, they got one thing in common. You know what that is? They hate quarterbacks. <laughs> they want to get there. A little too nervous there. Gets him caught in the neutral zone. Jones Drews lined up in a single back formation. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. The offense getting set. The goal line in sight. 15 minutes to go. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Watch the blitz, watch the blitz. Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game. Lewis Jacksonville in the end zone for the touchdown. And what a touchdown there for the offense, the quarterback. Just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. And the extra point, the kick is good. Josh Scobie ready for the kickoff. Turn was well covered, and it's a run back of only about 18. Moss is a receiver in the slot. Griffin's going to take it from the gun. That ball was in his hands. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason they took their eyes off the football before it got there. Alfred Morris lined up in the backfield. Second down and 10. And it could be should right there, but it really should have been an interception. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. And Morris is in the backfield, single back set, challenging the defenders to the right side. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be OK. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. And Morris is going to take the handoff now. Going to lose yards here. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? Hey, the offense has a chance to do something with this drive. Lewis in the slot here for this play. First and 10. Just fumble, and the defense has it. In on the stop. Recovered by the defense. Well, that time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit them so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground, and the defense recovers. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. 
Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Redskins team official. He was unable to confirm exactly what the injury was, but he did tell me that it is related to the upper body. Well, it's a good thing that linebacker knocked that pass down, because I don't think he could have caught it. So if you can't catch it, knock it down so nobody else can catch it. Moss is lined up in the slot. Second and 10. They pick up the first down with that reception. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. Garcon's lined up now as a slot receiver. Now first and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. Ah, the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. Second down following that incompletion. Griffin in the shotgun formation. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. In these type of situations, when you're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero, because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. Third and ten. It's handed to the running back. A tackle that had to be made, and that'll set up fourth down. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Garcon's going to get set in the slot for this snap. They'll turn it over on downs. Well, I'll just say this, Jim. When you're a gambling football team, you're willing to go for it on fourth down, even though you're losing in the second half and you don't get it. You just got to deal with a little bit of adversity and hope your defense can go out there and stop the other team's offense. Every play is precious now as we reach the midway point of the final quarter. Hard sometimes as an offensive coordinator to call plays to catch the defense off guard when you're winning and it's late in the game. Uh, so they played it very predictable there. The defense was ready, nowhere to go. He's looking to the right here on this throw. It'll be third down. Interception. Not giving up another inch. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. First down and 10. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. Nickel formation here for the defense. Second and ten. And he hauls it in. The Jaguars are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. The Redskins come to the line. First down marker is at the 48. Reads a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Drop back, shotgun formation. And he's forced to the ground. This satisfying defensive replay is brought to you by Snickers. Hungry for victory? Snickers satisfies. Moss is in the slot. The give to the running back. Ooh, they fail to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. That's one of those plays, if it doesn't work, Everybody's going to get on the offensive coordinator for running the football there late in the game when they're behind. But he caught the defense off guard. 
It was a good risk by them Let's and go. a good game. First and ten. And the quarterback is taken down. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see when they don't have to blitz and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. They are set back in long-distance territory after that sack. Second down coming up. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. You might as well catch it because you're going to take the big hit no matter what. That time, the receiver lets the ball go because he was worried about the defender making the hit. Set up now at the 46. Third down now. Let's go. going to be sacked and that's a quick series for this offense just three plays before it looks like they'll have to punt it away the offense comes back out here on fourth down one more snap and we can call it a day looking to go deep and he's intercepted. Good piece of tackling. That's going to do it. The clock hits zero, and this game has come to an end. Well, the lights were bright, and the team was up for the occasion here, winning in prime time. Nothing like it, man. Winning in prime time when you know it's all about you. And I've said many times, today's football players, they love being on the big stage where they were today, and they got it done. Well, what an exciting game it was, and let's go to our GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.